Connor. Yeah. Hey, go ask your mom for a Sharpie. Okay. Ow. You know those, you know those the signs that the panhandlers make. I'm gonna make me one too. It's gonna, it's gonna say, it's gonna say, got a job, still broke, need motorcycle parts. That's stupid. <laughs> Hell yeah. Quick question. Do y'all like DC or Marvel better? I'm a Marvel guy myself. You know, Easter eggs, after credit, cutscenes, whatever you want to call them. Especially the after credit. There's always something there funny, interesting, after the credits. Anyway, leave me a comment below. DC or Marvel? So Kimmy Moto was nice enough to send us out. Some more stuff comes in a box. In a box. In a bag. Got another little box. And, you know, we don't read around here. Actually, this sends two vests. One for me, one for her. Different styles. You know, one that's more of a deep under your clothes and one that's more of a second, third layer kind of vest. Round town kind of vest. You know, something you wear out just by itself. Like a long sleeve and a vest, no problem. This one here in particular is more of a base layer. You know, t-shirt or maybe a long sleeve, uh, maybe some chicken skins. Poly Pro, Long Johns, Thermals, whatever y'all call them. I like chicken skins. Think about it. You know why. Anywho, this one is pretty nice. All the zippers on all this Kimimoto stuff, left-handed zippers. Like, so you ladies won't have problems. Some of you dudes, y'all gonna have problems. On the inside of this vest is fleece lined. And the second vest is like puffy jacket. Right? It's the same material inside and out. Controls up top. The hood on this one is heated. It's great for a base layer hood or not too windy of a hood today, but it does get pretty warm. However, you can roll it down and zip it up. It'll still come on. Keep the back of your neck warm, sides a little bit. Especially if you got like a hoodie or something, you want to throw over the top of it, kind of press it in there and trap that heat. Does pretty good. Also in the box with this vest, another little white box. Comes with your battery pack and a USB charger. It's micro USB standard issue stuff. You can also put a put a regular USB Type C or a mini USB. And the power port charge connector. The charge connector on the puffy vest is a pocket inside a pocket for the wires coming out to a standard USB. So any power pack that you have you can use as long as it's got a USB on it. If you got one that's larger, one that's thinner, one that's got a solar panel or something on it, you can use that one. But this is the one they send you. It does pretty good. Plugs up, slips inside the pocket, you zip that pocket plug. Now the control is pretty simple. Press hold, lights up, press hold, lights up. No big deal, right? So that's maxed out, red for hot, white for middle, blue for coldest setting. Red, white, and blue, I don't hate it. Turn them off individually. Pretty simple stuff. Actually, pretty comfortable. This vest, pretty much the same thing. Left side pocket, plug it in, drop it in. Controls work the same.
Press hold for the back. Press hold for the front. Now this one is individual. You can do front or back because it doesn't have a hood. The other one's all over heat or hood heat or hood heat all over. You make your own choices. I don't know what to do with my hands. So you turn them off the same way. Controls are the same. Hot, medium, cold. Press hold, off. Well, see how they do on a ride. Catch y'all in a minute. Now something that the overvest, we're going to call them overvest, undervest. Of course, all this stuff's linked below. But on the, on the overvest, the sides have a little bit of spandex, lycra, whatever you want to call it. So it stretches a little bit. Now we went by the, we went by the tape measure and size chart on the website. Now on the sizing charts, I should have went a little smaller. We were right there on the verge between medium and large and wasn't sure how they were going to fit, so ordered large in both vests and should have went with the medium. That under vest is okay for me, but it's a little baggy. On Shannon, way too big. Should have went with the medium. Not a big deal. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's a simple return if I wanted to, but I'm satisfied with what they are. However, when it's time for you to order, if you're on the verge, go with the smaller size. Feeling any heat off of them yet? It's like, oh my God, it's so hot, you know? Yeah, like a warm spot in the pool. I can really feel mine like uh, nipples up on the on the on my pecs. I don't really feel anything coming off of the off of the hood, but my neck is also not cold. Yeah, you get more of a wind block with the leather versus what you got on. Yeah. When I have my leather vest on and my jacket. Like, I don't even feel the wind hitting my chest. With this one, I find myself wondering, is the heat on? Yeah, my, my heat's on. If I press my hand to my chest, I can feel it for sure. Yeah? I was worried about that. I was worried about it fitting your chest, not so much. Yeah. You know. And if it would have been a men's medium, then it would have been fine because I can wear a men's medium. Yeah. Uh, I can't wear a woman's medium. The cut doesn't fit right. I mean, I'm still learning how to dress this body, so. Right. Honestly, I'm kind of liking the puffy neck on this one. Yeah, I think the issue is, is that that's where I wear my ponytail. Right. And I have nowhere else to put my hair. And so it's too much. Like this vest is not bad. I can feel the heat. I wish, uh, I wish it was a little thicker. Yeah. Well, we can, we can unroll the, the hood out of here and give you a little more uh, neck room. And if yeah. it does, we can trade out on the way back. If, if you like it, we'll try it out. If you like it, cool. If not, no big deal. Now, I purposely did not wear my winter riding jacket, you know, my Joe Rocket. I'm pretty sure I would be colder if I did not have this vest on. Right. You know, now if I take a deep breath, I can feel, like I said, I can feel the the pads on my chest heating up. I wish they were a little bit lower, honestly, because sitting on the bike, that's kind of, it's not tight right there, so I can't really feel the heat, but the heat's there, so it's doing something, you know. I don't think- Yeah, that's, you know, with this one, like my trunk is warm. Yeah. Um, it's probably warmer than what it would be with my leather vest. But where my leather vest might not have heat in it, it has that extra layer that blocks that just biting cold blast. Yeah, yeah. And just like in the summertime, a leather vest is a hell to wear in the heat because it doesn't dissipate heat very much. So if you put your leather vest on and then a coat over the top of it, 
it retains heat really well as long as it's not exposed to the direct wind, like your chaps. What was that? I said my chesticles are warm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where all your heat went was to your testicles? Yeah. <laughs> my testicles. Ooh, that smell. Ready when you are. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it ain't even my own. Did it cut it off does. again? Yeah. That's the second. Back on. That's the second time it's cut off. Unless it's got some kind of overheat thing which shouldn't be happening. Oh hell, there's some heat down low too. Yeah? Yeah. Because I got it right here. And I got it right here. I'm just standing here in the parking lot. How you feel about that second vest? It's better now that the hood's unrolled. It's not, you know, pressing in on my ponytail and stuff. Oh, this puppy one has feels like it has a little more block. A little more wind block? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this one's got like a, a, a V-cut, you know, like a V-cut t-shirt. Yeah. And that one's got a, that one comes all the way up. Now, if you were working outside doing, uh, you know, yard work or standing around, I don't know, selling Girl Scout cookies or trick-or-treating or whatever, singing Christmas carols, deep frying a turkey, you know, two minutes in. Yeah, I could see, like, I could see taking it to the woods, huh? Yeah, I can definitely tell a difference between that one and this one already. Like, I'm not cold, but I can just, I can tell uh, with that V-cut in the front. Yeah, it, it just, it lets more of the, the air in through that V. I like the inside of it, though. I love the fleece on it. Yep. Um, I like, you know, that it's slick and soft because you don't always want a, a bubble vest. Right, right. You know. So which vest do you like more? I cut on this one. To, to ride the bike? This one. Like this one? Because yeah. it's low 40s right now. Yeah. You know, and it was 38, 39 when we got ready to leave. felt warmer in this one. This one had more coverage. Right. Yeah, because this one's got that V cut to it. So I could feel the wind a lot right here. Yeah. And when I rode, I had the hood rolled up inside the inside the deal, so it blocked all of that, and whatever heat was in the hood was also, you know, kind of helping out. Yeah. I that I don't like the collar on it. I don't. I wish that it was like a um, circle neck or something. Right. I just don't. It's too much right. for me. For you. Right. Right. And these. Personal opinions, yeah. you know, so no big deal. But when I ride the bike, my ponytail sits knotted right here, and so it's it's just it's too much with the helmet pushing on it and the ponytail and the collar. And it was definitely too much with it rolled yeah. up inside the collar. Yeah, it was a no with it rolled up. Okay, so just for wearing around. I would wear this one. All right. I like the way this one looks. Right. Um, that one was like, you should be directing traffic or something. <laughs> I think this one's more stylish. Uh, heat wise, did you feel more heat from this one or more heat from that one? I feel like I felt more heat in that one than I did in this one. Okay. Um, okay. This one, my lower part was warmer. Right. But as far as the chest, this here was warmer because it did, doesn't have the V. Did you notice, did you notice the heat from the back, like cause I, um, if you were to buy one of these for your sister or for your mom or somebody, I'd buy this one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I can dig it. Do you notice any of the heat with the hood up? I don't really like the hood. You know. I do like. I like that the hood is not bubble. I like that it's slick. Yeah. I just don't like the bulky of the collar. Gotcha. Now that vest comes with the battery pack, right? Is this one? That's the only thing I, I don't like is the collar. Yeah. The collar is just, it feels too much. I probably slouch too much for it. <laughs> it's probably my fault. Right? That's fair. That's fair. No, that's fair. I mean, 
but just walking around yeah that'd be your choice yes this yeah. would be my choice that one i would like i would like this underneath like this is a good underneath vest you know if this like if you're gonna put a jacket on if you have a jacket that you like and you just want a little bit of extra heat this is the one i like yeah you know because i don't mind the v when i'm not riding you right. can definitely tell that V is there while you're riding. Now, this isn't the jacket that I normally wear when I'm riding in low 40 degree temperatures. This is, you know, maybe down to like 45, but if I know that it's going to be cooler than that, I don't wear this jacket. Right. I mean, you can see through it. Like, I would be okay throwing on a t shirt, throwing this over jeans and out the door. Yeah. You know, you know and you can wear that, you know, you can wear that. If all I was wearing was like a long sleeve mm -hmm. and I wanted an extra layer, then I would grab that one. Yeah. You know, and I'll grab that one to go ride on. If I needed heated gear to ride, that would be the one that I got because it comes all the way up your neck, you know, like with the V, it, it leaves me exposed, mm -hmm. you know. So, the, but as far as like working or hunting or, you know, doing something, that I, I would prefer this one for yeah. that. Cool. Y'all be safe out there. Take care of one another. Or nobody else. Did y'all stick around to the end of the video? No, I know y'all. Y'all just skip, skip, skip. And that's all right. I'm not, my feelings aren't hurt. Use the link below and then use promo code RITO17. RITO17. Save 17% on all heated gear at Kimimoto. Not my code. Don't care. Be safe.